session of today's busy schedule. As I say, one more race to go in the mixed K2 500 metres, and we'll take you through that. And then we've got a bit of a break before we head to the endurance event, the 5,000 metres, which will start around about quarter past two. So there's the start list for the mixed K2 500 metres. And what a start list it is. Quite interesting names in there to pick out a Pimenta, Menning, Collins, Maura, Maura and Lahachi could be an interesting one from Austria as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, Anna's, Anna's a really solid paddler. And to line up with Timo, they could uh, really very much throw a cat amongst the pigeons with you. But uh, obviously with the form that Fernando and Teresa are in, you, you, you cannot doubt that they will be definitely challenging for that medal. So it, it, the exciting thing, thing about these mixed events, you just don't know how the athletes will gel in, in the boat. and There's no form, so any any result is, is a surprise result. Yeah, it makes for an exciting race, doesn't it? We, just, we can't just expect uh, that it's going to be a certain crew to win. So we'll just, uh, we've got Ruth Vosselman and Albert Fleer from Netherlands in one. Martin Natel, who's a world champion in K2 in the men's K2 thousand meters. He's matching up with Melina Anderson in two. Simon Jensen and Emma Bock from Denmark. There they are in picture are in three. Then we've got Teresa Portella and Fernando Pimenta, who's just jumped into the boat quite literally from winning the K1 500 meters. Still a bit of lactic acid floating around his system, I'm sure. Julia Lagerstam and Petter Menning from Sweden. Petter Menning was the champion in the K1 200 metres earlier. So he's in good form. He's sitting in the back of that boat. Then we've got Alyssa Bull and Jackson Collins. Jackson Collins had a really good run out in the K1 500 metres, taking the silver medal. And he's with Alyssa Bull. Then we've got... The Austrians, Anna Lahachi and Timon Maurer. They go in lane seven. Here they are. Timon Maurer getting himself on the podium of the men's K1 500 meters as well. Then Caroline Farshu and Rasmus Knudsen in lane eight and then completing the lineup from Spain we've got Pablo Rosa and Lara Feu. Always interesting to see these K2s how they set up who's in front the male or the female um, obviously it's hard, hard for us as commentators or spectators to see exactly why they set, set it up but every crew will have their own reasons as to why they want the K2 to be female in front or male in front yeah, it's quite interesting, the Germans, when they won last weekend, basically, it just looked like uh, Max Renschmidt sort of dragged Pauline Jacks along. Uh, and uh, I don't mean that disrespectfully to her, but he really was working on He was in the front setting the pace. So, the last race of the second session here at the World Cup in Poznan. The final of the mixed K2 500 metres. On lane four and five, lanes four and five, the Portuguese and the Swedes are away to a good start. Yes, yeah, so as you can see there, just Fernando and Teresa just starting to move through the field. Pete, Peter Manning and his partner there still launching out front, but Portugal starting to make its mark. Yeah, as you spotted, Portuguese got away uh, well. Pimenta. In the back there, he's got to be tired from that K1 race, or well, both K1 races. Um, but if they get a sniff of the win here, they'll be keeping it together. Teresa Portillo is very, very experienced, just trying to keep on top of this, keep it controlled and keep it smooth. And as we get to the halfway point, they're with a lead, but it's a narrow lead at the moment. It's the Swedish crew of Natel and Anderson in lane two looking really good as well. Right now, Teresa will be just sitting here now, just trying to hold a decent stroke rate for, for Fernando to really push him home, just making sure she gets that exit out really quick, keep it light, so he has that time to really come down and hit that catch. 
Yeah, they just seem to have picked up the pace again. Stroke rate seems to have gone up again. Now, this is where it's going to really hurt and where we get a little bit of the wobbles when they're put under pressure. They're not used to paddling with each other so much in the K2, but it's still with Portugal. Australians coming good from lane six. Alyssa Bull and Jackson Collins for our late charge. It's going to be Portugal. Right the, near the top of the pitcher, Sweden's from lane two and the Australians. Another uh, position on the podium for them. Third place for the Australians. Fernando Pimenta, that's three gold medals in one day. Good job for him. He needs to do a good long warm down, doesn't he? To get all that lactic acid around his system and, and process that, refuel, rehydrate, change his clothes, get himself ready. He's got about an hour and a half just over that until his next race, which will be the 5,000 meters. He, cro he crossed that line and he was ecstatic with that. You can see he really wanted to get that performance. That's disgusting with Ross on the, on, down on the water there. He was talking about winning four gold medals, so it has been in the back of his mind that he wants to achieve that today. Yeah, he was keen and sort of suggesting it was something unprecedented. And so he wants to make another mark there. And it really interesting to see, actually, they, they pulled away a little bit. And certainly the middle phase of the race, they really picked it up. And that's quite a big margin from them uh, to the Swedes over in lane two. Clearly they showed that they were well connected through the middle. To be able to just spread out in that last hundred means they were really efficient through the middle and well connected working as a team. And they did look comfortable. They didn't look like they were fighting each other. They looked like they were working as one unit. They did and you can see they're delighted uh, with that are the Portuguese. Now hopefully in a little while they might join us on the podium. Never know what we'll get from Fernando. May well get another change of kit. Uh, we may get an interview, or they might decide, actually, they need to warm down rather than speaking to Ross on the pontoon. We'll find out in a few minutes. Well, that will sort of begin to uh, close the session that we've got with you. It's been wonderful to have your company because we've seen some fantastic races there. We've got Portela and Pimenta from Portugal in first place. Natal and Anderson from Sweden take the silver, and Bull and Collins from Australia take the bronze.